How's it going? If you um, scroll down my channel, I can't remember, it was a little while ago, but there's a video called Square Wave Generator. And there's this little thing and I'm turning it and it's making noise coming out of a little piezo speaker. Anyway, after that I wanted to make this one. It had an LFO in it, a Vibrati Punk console. So what I've made there was commonly known as an Atari Punk console. And then I just left it up there on the side and it's just got obliterated and now I couldn't remember how it went together. I remembered that I had all the parts to make everything I wanted, but I'm just too lazy. So now I'm gonna make a video making the Atari Punk console from an Instructables link in quick steps. So next time this happens, I've got a video to tell me where to go. Right. Right, so I'll put this link in the description. Look, so this is what you need. Jumpers, right. Even though it's summer, but where are they? I've got them here anyway, yeah, I've got them. Right, boom, got them. Nine volt battery, I'll come find that when it comes, when I need to. Not battery clip, got that. Five, five, six timer, yep, got loads of them. Five five six timer check. Um, or you can also use two five 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 chips, which I've also got loads of. But um, one k ohm resistor, which is that. If you can't work, if you your eyes ain't good enough, yeah, to work out the colour, just focus in on it, zoom in, then take a picture, and then you can see it better. Two five hundred k potentiometers. Um, variable resistors, 5k ohm variable resist variable resistor, two 0, 0 0.01 UF capacitors, which are in that little tub there. That's what they look like. They've got 103 written on them. Optional. This is just a bonus. We ain't gonna bother with that at the minute. But right, come let's do it. Right, this that's the 555. So it's the 55 timer chip was the world's first integrated circuit, blah, blah, blah. It was used in missiles, used to cost $5,000. Now you can buy one for 10 cents. Uh, but in this, we're using, where have I put it? The 556 chip, which is basically two of the 555s. All right, but so, don't know why I put it away, but. Right, step one, that's the circuit. Right, place the chip in the variable resistors. Right, so first of all, you've got to put the chip in. This one's in a socket. I don't want it in there. It's a bust. Get that out. Um, where the little dip is, in the, in the top of the chip, that's telling you that it's the top. Or at least it should be. Right. To start things out, I like to lay the chip in the variable resistors on the ball. Put the chip towards the top of the board so that legs 1 and 14 are at the top. The notch at the top of the chip tells you which side is up. Right, so push and whack that in there. Right, push. Next. Right, the two, then place the two variable, the two 500k ohm variable resistors along the bottom left of the board. Right, that's so now this one. Place the 5K, 5K ohm variable resistor opposite. Look, I just moved the 500K resistors right along the other side. Well, I'm going to do the same with that one. Pull it over. Now, on this Instructables thing, he's saying he likes to have the right vertical rail on his breadboard be the positive and the left vertical rail be the negative. You can honestly change things up as you see fit. Use a jumper and go from the positive rail on the right bottom of this picture, this basically just looks the same with a wire on it, and run it to the middle leg of that variable resistor. That's, how, that's what it is on the picture anyway, I'll quickly show you. Oh, I like that. All right. So, here's a jumper. Um, right, the middle leg is that one run it to the positive 
Right, I'm going to use this smaller jumper for that, man, because that's just... Bush. Right, so... The middle leg... To the positive... Bush, that's done. Right. Now he's saying, I go from pin one of the chip, of the 556 five, chip, into the outer leg of the variable resistor. So I'm going to put in that one. And that's like that. 1K. Bush. Right, um says from pin one down to pin six so that's in there one two three four five six and into there right, right. pin six 0.01 UF capacitor to negative. Bush. Done. Pin two to pin six. Right, pin two. That's pin one. That's two. Bush. Is that right? Pin two. Yeah, it's pin six scan underneath the um capacitor though, but oh hang on. I can let me move the capacitor. That was a bit fiddly but got there in the end. Right, take a jumper and connect pin two to pin six, done, right? Um now you should have three things in a row with pin six. A resistor leg, yep, a capacitor leg, yep. And a jumper coming from pin two, yes. If pin seven to negative. Done. It says now turn the ball around. Um take a jumper and go from pin fourteen to the positive rail. Pin fourteen to the positive rail. Pin fourteen to ten. Green jumper. But it says in brackets there, you could just go directly from the positive rail to pin 10 if you really wanted to. Oh, yeah, because look, that's taking the power from the positive there. Oh, yeah. Well, all right, we'll leave it as that, though. Now he's saying, take a jumper and go from the positive rail over to the middle leg of the variable resistor. It don't tell you in that text, but on the picture it's showing you that it's this one that's got nothing connected to it. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, take a jumper and go from the positive rail over to the middle leg of the variable resistor. Oh, it's up that way. So, all right, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this up a bit. Go from the positive to the middle leg. Too short. Positive. To the middle leg. Done. And it says take a jumper, a long one, and go from the outside leg of that same resistor, variable resistor, to pin 13 on the chip. Right. 14. 13. Outside leg. Bush. Then pin 13 to 12. 14, 13. Right, it's just these two. 
Bosh. Pin 13 to 12. Pin 12 to... Pin 12 capacitor to negative. Right, it says now we now need to use a capacitor to connect pin 12 to the negative rail, only this is a long jump. In the picture below, I use a jumper to go from pin 12, somewhere around here, to the other side of the board to connect a capacitor to the negative. Right, so now we just need another long jump. Um, which one I do? Right, pin 12, 14, 13, 12. And bust to that. Again. Like that. Go from the outside leg of the 5k potentiometer to pin 10. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Bush. That orange one. Right. Right, so now I've just had to connect the speaker, but I had to quickly solder the speaker because it was like a brand new one, but it's that the worst soldering job you've ever seen in your life. But, um, yeah, you connect, take your speaker, connect one speaker wire to the middle pin of the 5K variable. Then it says take a jumper and connect the other speaker wire to pin 9. Well, I've just connected the other speaker wire to pin 9 without using a jumper, so... We'll see what happens. Pin 5 to pin, pin 8, that brown one. Now it just says add power, so the thing is basically done there. That's it. Let's see, though. I think that I'm having doubts about this speaker, though, man. It's a fucking that soldering job, I don't know. Let's see, anyway, right. Nothing's happening. If you have problems, step 21. At this point, your Atari punk should be making some horrible sounds. If not, turn the knob on the 5K on. Oh, that's the volume. Better speaker, don't I? Well, that lasted long. Oh, I'll turn it down. Ah, oh, the power's come out. Probably can't even hear it, it's really low. But anyway, that's it, I've done it, sweet. 